now because here's the battle. Here's the competitor. This is Gracie Gold. No, it's Gracie Gold. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, Americans sitting one and two. Can it be a podium sweep for them? Gracie Gold had a fall in her short program. So some ground to make up here for the American. say yes to that dress. Wow, what a stunner. I was just thinking I wish that she had like an opera or ballet background so that we could enjoy the dress even more. You should. or the acreage. She needed more yardage on that football field before she had room to try the triple toe. One thing that uh, Ashley Wagner has is a relaxed upper body, whereas Gracie usually has a stiffness to her. Bit of a lean that she couldn't recover from. The other thing that Ashley has mastered too is where exactly to place her elements to get the biggest bang for her buck and the biggest success rate. And I feel like you say she just didn't have enough acreage on that jump. And we've seen that before from her. Yep, especially the Lutz, you're right. Yep. Looking down at the ice, you can see those eyes really having to focus on the program this is feeling like a program early in the season. Nice recovery, good combination. And she did take time off after Worlds. You know, she did really consider whether she was going to compete on the Grand Prix season this year. And so probably her preparation has suffered a little bit as a result. She took the entire month of July off. Didn't want to go anywhere near the ice. Backstage, Ashley Wagner just took a sigh of relief as that triple flip turned into a double. She might have worn a silver dress, but I think her medal will be gold. True. So when you pull harder than you should, when you just rush your timing, that's the kind of move that can make a jump go off kilter. And you can see it. She just didn't settle into that inside edge. And, uh, you know, then you're grasping at straws instead of comfortably spinning over your hips or over your axis. Gold of the United States, and I don't think this is hard hitting analysis when I say she's not happy with that skate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we 
we, we being the skating world, knew that she was struggling to get back into her form. Um, both, you know, it's, it's tough to go to Worlds. You have the elite after the short program. You're in the United States. It's your chance at skating immortality, and you let it slip away. That, that can take a lot out of you, but uh, Gracie gets high in the knee and stiff in the shoulders when she gets nervous, and, and that was there evidently today. It's like she still hasn't managed to get that under control. She starts off usually pretty well, and then and then it just goes on her. For, for things start playing in her head, and yep. she's got all the all the goods there. It's just pulling them off on a consistent basis oh, that no, seems she's, to escape her. She's the real deal. She was almost yeah. a world champion yes, last year. Yes, exactly, exactly. Pretty tough day. Let's have a look. Couldn't get flow on this landing. And I thought she was thinking, I'm going to do triple anyways, and just ran out of room. <laughs> See, her shoulders are riding really high on the way into that jump, and she never really got into the back rotation in the air. And, uh, well, what do you say? When, you know, when, the t when you're reaching for things instead of feeling them right where you need them, it's, it's kind of tough. It was that a was beautiful, a great combination, right? Beautiful dress, like you said. I felt yeah, like that dress just... needed a glamorous piece of music to go with it. Yes, the music didn't really seem to go anywhere. Oh. And you can hear the music in the background. It was intense and yes. whirling. And this music, the, I, that dress, I just want her to be elegant. So, the journey continues back from uh, what happened to her in Boston at the World Championships. And, you just wish her to have a couple of months of good, hard training, get that confidence going again, confidence running that mojo, and just get back to the Gracie that's a lot of fun to watch compete. Well, she's going to need 131.57 to take the lead here. The last time the American ladies swept the podium at Skate America was 1996, and it's not going to happen. 119.35 will put her in fifth. So not the way she wanted to start this season, that's for sure. And I feel like that's going to be the dark cloud over the head of Gracie Gold is the 2016 Worlds. Can she shake it off? Thank you, anyway.